You are looking live at Spartan Stadium in East Lansing, Michigan. Well, Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brent Musburger. Thanks for dropping by. And, uh, Kirby, there you have it, our premier <laughs> matchup, the Badger offense against the Spartan team. Well, this is what we really all wanted to see for a number of weeks. This Michigan State defense, I think, comes in with a ton of confidence. And a sellout crowd awaits the welcome of head coach Mark D'Antonio and the Spartans as they pour out onto the field here in East Lansing, Michigan. undefeated and ranked number six in the first BCS rankings. <laughs> Muma kicks it away and our journey begins. They'll down it in the end zone. Aberdare is quickly preventing White from coming out. It'll come to the 20-yard line. Here's your play action. Throws wide open. Touchdown, Wisconsin. And they will come with the running game now. This is Edwin Baker. Fumble! Badgers jump for it on the sideline. Monty Ball. Touchdown, Badgers. They strike quickly. Herbie, for, for Kirk Cousins, you've just got to be patient. Your running back turned it over through no fault of yours. He's a senior quarterback. You've got to get back one touchdown at a time. Yeah, exactly right. Three-year starter. Not only a three-year starter, a three-time captain here at East Lansing. And he's the guy you got to turn to to be able to kind of settle everybody down. This offensive line has been much maligned through injuries, but they've gained confidence in the last two weeks against Ohio State and Michigan. They've got to be able to play well, and Edwin Baker's got to get on track in this game. Todd Anderson is the fullback offset. Baker back as the tailback play action and Cousins completes his first pass and it's a nice sideline throw to Keyshawn Martin back in the gun quick throw high grab at the 45 yard line first down B.J. Cunningham his number one target as the running back here at midfield and they'll try him again, and this time he was jumped. Norman was the ringleader. There are some of your fans over there that are saying, free Willie. And William, come on back, because your coaches said you've got a great future. Nice young man. We know how badly you feel about what happened. A one-game suspension on the part of the Big Ten. And here is Wilson. Middle. Oh, intercepted. It was picked off by Trenton Robinson, number 39. And that could be the spark here for the Spartans. And we'll see if the Spartans can get a drive going here. Toss play and Bell running down the right sideline. And Dan Rusher with a great call on this play. That is their best play of the night. And Bell for 32 yards. Mighty is stoned and driven back. And there's the big fellow worthy. Worthy with his first all Big Ten play of the night. Now Ewing in front of ball. Play action. Russell's going to throw out of his end zone. In trouble. Fires it away. He was in trouble. And he threw it away as Allen, the linebacker, all over him. And it is a penalty. Intentional grounding has been called. From the end zone, intentional grounding. Intentional grounding, grounding number 16, offense, the foul occurred in the end zone, by rule, safety. That's a safety. Brent, watch him get to the left, and when he comes back to the right, he literally starts, he throws the football away from right behind where, the, where he took the football is on the snap. First down and 10. Here he is backing up again. Middles open. Got it. Tight end all alone. And that was 
Lipticum. Bell is in. Anderson is your lead fullback. That power eye formation. Play action into round, double into round. Cousins with blocking for Martin. Martin breaks free. 50, 10, touchdown Spartans. The safety turned it back toward the Spartans. And now they score their first touchdown. What a great call there by Dan Rauscher. Misdirection on the double reverse gets Wisconsin out of position and the speed there by Martin in the open field, the difference. Remember, it was Martin last year in this game that set up a turnaround also with a big return. Dan Conroy adds the extra point. Yes, indeed, he did, Herbie. So White. Couldn't get the daylight. He is stopped by Kyler Ellsworth, a sophomore, a sophomore linebacker. Kyle Ellsworth with a big time stop. Blocked. So the Spartans in the last three series have had an interception, a safety, and now a blocked field goal. Denard, the corner, coming in on it, gets a piece of it. Big third down. Third down and four. Cousins fires for the first down. Now play action. Cousins. Cousins stands tall. Got a man wide open. Complete at the 45. Length of come. And Cousins is going to throw for it. Straight back. Fired. Complete. Cunningham breaks free. Touchdown. Spurdy's going to take its first lead. Thirty-five yard touchdown. That came on fourth and two. Brent, there are so many things that happen in a football game that at times you overlook as a fan or even a journalist, that was one of them. A senior quarterback on fourth and two waiting for his senior receiver, B.J. Cunningham, to get to the opening. Wilson's turn. Pump fakes right, sacked at the 20-yard line, and Allen. So Allen is starting to bring heat from that linebacking spot. Remember, they blocked the field goal. They now block a punt, and here we go. They'll fall on it. That's in the end zone, waiting for the call. The referee and the line judge are back there in the end zone. They're going to have to sort it out here as Sparty has blocked a field goal and now a punt. Ellsworth at... Touchdown, Michigan State. Let's remember that Monty Ball has been lost for the rest of the first half. And James White is now stoned by Isaiah Lewis. Listen to this crowd as the final seconds tick away the first half. Play action again in a foot race. Russell Wilson keeps it. Tries to get the edge. Banged out of bounds at the 20. Trenton Robinson came up and covered up on it. Wilson has running room to the left. Fumbles it. Goes back out of bounds. It'll be Badger football.
Downfield, got the first down, and you know who he went to. Number three, his main man, B.J. Cunningham. Here's Anderson back now as his fullback. And here is Bell banging for the first down to the 40-yard line. And a punishing drive is underway this time. Here's third down and four. They got a bunch over on the right now. Cousins has bunched his receivers. Looks away from it. And throws for the first down away from the bunch. Cannot make a bad pass in this situation. That's for sure. Here's the right Kate guy Bird to help you. <laughs> stands in. So he's on the field. Third down and 11. Got the man open and dumped it off to Martin. Turns the corner. Touchdown. Bell is the running back. Cousins will go into the gun. Borland shows pressure. Can't get there. Throw for a tough throw. Great catch. Great catch by B.J. Cunningham. What a grab that was. Cromarty was all over him. Third down and six. Forced to punt. And now Wilson will dance. 15, 10, headed in zone. Touchdown. First down and 10 for Russell Wilson. On the play action, rolling to the right. Gets a block from Ball. Throws back the other way. And it's intercepted by Lewis. Lewis finally comes up with a huge play. The mouth that roared comes up with a big pick. Russell Wilson will drop it off. Ball, touchdown. We're an extra point away from a tie. So here comes Cousins. Fires, and that is a first down to Bell, the running back. Another huge third down if it's an incompletion here. Wisconsin's thinking of getting that ball back. Michigan State converted a third and seven already on this drive. Cousins inside shovel pass. Got the first down. Use Keyshawn Martin, the wide receiver, and they pick it up with 23 seconds. Now the clock starts to move. We're down to 20 seconds. In the middle, here's Bell. Bell trying to get it, but they've got two timeouts, and they can kill it with nine seconds. A very deep defensive set for the Badgers. I said, Three safeties go back inside the 10-yard line. I said Nick Toon, but they put Jared Abradaris back there instead. Three-man rush. Cousins. On the last play of regulation, chucks it to the end zone. Caught. Michigan State's caught it on a rebound. Tuck. Hold on. It is just short of the end zone. Instant replay will take a look at this. The Spartans caught the ricochet. They want the touchdown. Instant replay will have to decide now. Ball was caught by Keith Nickel. Take a look. Abradaris gets in the air and gets a hand on it. Nickel is right in the front. It comes right into his hands. Does the ball cross the plane? Taylor is fighting like crazy to prevent it from breaking the plane. Boy, it, it was really close. Really close. Look at Abradaris gets up in the air. The ball goes off of Sims and Cunningham. Nickel is right there. And Taylor's doing everything he can to keep the ball away from breaking the plane. So instant replay will decide it. Remember, the call on the field is no touchdown. Indisputable to turn this over. Remember that as Nickel was battling and Taylor had him wrapped up. After further review, the runner did cross the line. The touchdown. touchdown, Michigan State. With a miracle ending. Team is running toward the student body. A one-time quarterback, Keith Nickel, 
catches the ball for the first time tonight and is able to battle and get the ball across the goal line. Let's go down below now to Aaron Andrews. We're all speechless. Put that into words. We've won some close games around here with some big plays. That may be the biggest. What a great call by uh, Roshar. Cousins got some time to throw it and got it in the end zone. What was the call on that play? It was a rocket play. You know, throw it in the end zone, let it tip be tipped around, and let's see who comes up with it. We know that the officials needed to look at the replay. What did you see when you were down there on the sideline? Well, I just saw a bunch of people down there, but our guys were saying he was in, and they got to give us a call. So, great call by the officials. All night, the guys in the booth were talking about Kirk Cousins' decision-making. What did you think of his play tonight? Job. Uh, unbelievable job. Our guys played. We made big plays all night. Uh, you know, I don't think we had a penalty. And, uh, you know, I was very proud of the, we kept our composure the way we played football. Last year, you weren't able to be here for this win. What's it like to be here and watch an ending like this? My heart's racing. Thank you, Coach. Take care of that heart, Coach. <laughs> Kirby, I was here back in 2001 when T.J. Duckett caught that two-yard pass yeah. from Jeff Smoker as time expired versus Michigan. This one was even more unbelievable. As a one-time quarterback catches a ball that is being batted around and gets it over the goal line for the winning touchdown for the Spartans. You talk about an instant classic. Brennan, how fitting to have this game battle back and forth. So much at stake. 31 to 31. Comes down to a Hail Mary. The ball is tipped, falls into the hands of a former quarterback, and then it's, as I said, it comes down to a battle between a linebacker and a receiver to see who wanted the who wanted to win the game more. Good job. They buy the time. Perfectly executed right there. Put it up in the air. Abraderis mistimes his jump. It goes off of Cunningham. And right there, that battle of wills between Nickel and Taylor. And Nickel, the quarterback, the receiver, former quarterback, has just enough. Watch this. All week the talk, the games are tied at 31, and it comes down to that fight right there to get across. It's literally two or three inches to fight. Now on the sideline, take a look at Coach D'Antonio. That's his reaction. Meanwhile, the man who threw it. <laughs> Brent, he has just beaten Ohio State, Michigan, and now Wisconsin. Three weeks in a row. And, and there's, there's one other thing that I want to point out as we see Michigan State rushing to the student body. They played this football game tonight without a single penalty. Not one penalty against Michigan State tonight. And let's go down now to Aaron Andrews. Brian, I'm right here with uh, Keith Nickel. Caught the ball. You said the play was rocket. How many times have you executed that one in practice? We practice it every week. At the end of every week, you never know when a situation like that's going to happen, especially against a good team like Wisconsin. And, uh, you know, we practice it, execute it. Just incredible to come out here in front of these fans and do it in front of them and to win the game. It was incredible. Give us an idea of what that battle was like to get that ball. I think, I think that play kind of summed up how the whole entire game went. It was just a... Who's going to make the last play? Who's going to win that? Make that final play to change the game? Uh, special teams, defense, offense, all came together for us. Same thing for them. They're making plays all over the place. Came down to one play at the end, and uh, we were thankful to be on that part of the end. You know? All right, thanks so much, Brent. You know, folks, this is why we love college football. Oh, amen. That's... Hey, it's unbelievable. There it is. The ball clearly on the goal line. The instant replay official up here, right next to us. Tom Herbert making the toughest call of his career, I dare say. And the Big Ten should be so lucky to get a rematch for their championship and have a game just like this. I mean, this was just, just incredible. And you've got to be so happy for Cousins. He hasn't gotten a lot of attention. People have said he's made so many mistakes through the years here at Michigan State. Probably an underrated young man, terrific student. Once thought of going into medicine, and he still might after he gets a chance in the National Football League. But he's just a great leader, and he showed it here tonight, Irby. And that, that's called adrenaline right there from a leader and a three-year starter and a three-time captain. If you want to know about his character, there aren't very many three-time captains walking around 
any campus. Drell Worthy, the big defensive tackle, excited. Remember, he challenged his offensive line on that final series. Somebody had to make a play, and it was the Michigan State offense as they were trying to what looked like maybe get in the field goal range, ends up with a Hail Mary to win the football game, 37 to 31. So once again, Michigan State hands Wisconsin its first loss of the season. This has been a presentation of ESPN, worldwide leader in sports. For Kirk Street, Aaron Andrews, and our entire ESPN college football primetime crew, I'm Brett Musburger.